right, we're on a cell phone. We're doing a cell phone video. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> Shop update. We're going to start doing this live probably, I'm thinking Friday night or whatever. Yeah. So one day during the week. So you can kind of get an idea of what it takes to build one of these Demon Motorsports hydraulic systems, which takes a long time. Definitely. There's so much, there's so much going on that... <laughs> Like the, the video we showed the uh, the detail on it was just the end of it. Yeah. So there's so much work, you know, months of work that goes on before just, you get to that. Just point. to get your the bus to sit on the ground, a lot of this stuff, the hydraulics, you know, make it go up and down. But to get your bus to sit on the ground, a lot of the airbags and everything, it still pertains the same. So you will still have to do a lot of the same stuff if that's what you're trying to get your end goal. And then to get them on the ground, that's like every little detail is just lots awesome, and lots of work. Let's look around. Let's grab the yeah. phone and look around. Here we go. Yeah. All right. So. First thing first, right here. We're doing a IRS conversion, which we do on all of them, just because it's uh, you know that camera issue and going up and down a lot. But you can see we this is a stock spring plate. It usually comes out here. I have a template that we use to cut this down, notch it out. We put this in the mill and slide it out. We take that little bump off right up in here, get that out of there. And this one, uh, you know, it'll fit all the way up. We still got a little bit more clearance up in here, but you know that that'll be able to send that all the way up. Gives you. A, Buttload of yeah, and one of the other things is, I hope you can hear me from being behind here, the uh, the mounts right here. Let me just try to get up in this way. Talk about the mounts there, Ryan. These are the IRS clips, and and another way of doing it. A lot of people they sell ones that clamp around there. These are actually the ones that you can buy to convert a beetle swing axle chassis to to bus. We just open up these copes a little bit more and. Uh, you the same size as this we go from the top where it was nothing and then just you know that's where the original mark was and we just open the bottom part up there when then we bolt the control arm in here we have this all bolted up bolted to this to the spring plate here and as you raise and lower this you set your camber on the outside you know we can use your uh uh protractor on your phone you can get an inclinometer or we actually have a caster camber gauge we with a magnet that sets on here is pretty nice. Yeah. Raise that up and down and get it set up. But you want to do that at right height, so. That, uh, way not, cheaper than uh, the brackets. Oh, yeah. It's simple. And, and not all of these have to have this notch right here. Right. This is another one like the, the, the Blue Bus that has the 17 inch wheels. Yeah. With so it's gonna. Zero offset, so the control arms are narrow. We got the quantum control arms right here. Let's show you that. But we raised them two and three quarters, and we actually moved the where the spring plate was here. So we had to move that over, and we cut the end off, and move that over. So actually, every single end of this is customized <laughs> to make that fit in there. But being it's narrow now, it changes this angle of where this ends up. So when you go up there, you can see that th th this angle ends up hitting as it goes up. If it's stuck out further, it clearances out here so you don't have that right. usually we do a little trimming here but it's nothing like that yeah but and then they had the extra support on the bottom because you got to cut we that cut that out yep. yeah because you don't want it dragging yeah and a little preview of where the hydraulics go don't want to show you too much but there <laughs> basically if uh if uh you had to do this yourself it's a little it's a little intimidating but it's not that complicated right it's pretty simple just intimidating if you were to buy one of the kits it comes with all the templates everything you need to to cut it all out. Yep. And I just about knocked the light over. It's amazing how a shop's always blue. <laughs> so I think that's the start of it. Uh, yep. I guess we can. We still we had to cut off the the bump stop mounts and the shock mounts. We took them all the way off on this one on the on most of them, but they don't have the wide wheels. We can still use the shock mount. We just kind of like shift one of the legs over and put yep. a little spacer in there. And on this one, where the axle is going to come through, being it's narrow, this is going to be coked out pretty big right in here. Obviously, the trans has got to go in and the axle has got to go in to even get to that far. Yeah. But Let's show that later. Let's, yes. uh, let's grab a light and just look up front real quick some of the steering because it's going in. And uh, hopefully this ain't bl too blown out. But, uh, yeah, actually go. Yeah, the beginning of the, the rack and pinion. The bevel box, Vanigan bevel box that we use. And we have all templates, so we make all this stuff we have a always the same we can cut it out the same now this little circle this big thick piece of pipe that you joint it's gonna stick through here we'll put another hole through this other bulkhead and the rack will be behind the the beam right here and this one here we're raising the beam too to fit those bigger wheels on it so we're gonna I think it's an inch and a quarter we're raising the beam so we already got that coked out cleaned up so. yeah the very beginnings 
I think this one's been in here, what, uh, what two weeks? Uh, yeah, something maybe, like that, yeah. Maybe three weeks. We're, uh, it's moving right along. You know? All the rest of the parts are going in it, and you know, this is all like the little detail stuff, and since we've done it a few times now, it's we're just banging that stuff out before we get all the, yeah. the rest of the parts in. So. Since this one is uh, basically a copy of the blue one, it's pretty much, yep. Pretty much uh, the same thing, so you don't have to figure anything out. So. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Hopefully we're in the frame because I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think we're gonna start doing this live, like I said, one one of these days a week. Yeah, and uh, it's always stuff going around on yeah. in here. So oh, and subscribe. Don't forget that's to subscribe. Got to. Got to. Is now. this light blowing us up? Maybe that's. <laughs> we're rookies at this uh, <laughs> phone camera stuff. Maybe huh? maybe it's there's the rest of the shop. Maybe we should go this way. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, it probably looks like crap. <laughs> is what it is. Yeah. You'll, you'll fix it. We'll Use get, a little fancy edit. No, stuff, we'll but. get the real camera and do another video. But <laughs> All right. Look for live videos coming soon. Thanks to you guys and getting us over the 1,000 subscribers. So we can do that. That is so cool. Hopefully we're in the... I don't know. Maybe somewhere's in there. Whatever. <laughs> Say bye. See ya.